So it is important to uh, keep in mind that uh, you have patients with heart failure with a preserved ejection fraction who already have an indication for pacing. And what is really important for these uh, patients is to be careful and mindful of what type of pacemaker to choose and how to program the device. And it is imperative that in people who are not in permanent atrial fibrillation uh, that you... uh, you know, add or uh, implant an atrial lead, um, and to you need to ensure great and consistent atrioventricular synchrony in those patients. The other thing to keep in mind uh, is to do your best to minimize right ventricular pacing because you want to prevent the development of RV pacing-induced cardiomyopathy. Um, with patients who are now uh, getting devices, I think it is important to consider the implantation of pacemakers that would enable conduction system pacing. And uh, it is important to keep in mind that left bundle branch area pacing now is really better than his bundle pacing. Now, I do want to switch very quickly and talk about uh, patients with heart failure with a preserved ejection fraction who do not have a pacing indication. And now we have emerging evidence that accelerated pacing in those patients may actually benefit them.